Hello, right, we're setting up for DEF CON 6 in Sosson in Southampton. And I'm here with Southampton Makerspace, which is so far just me and Jim with K9. And I've got my giant 3D printed Lego electric skateboard, plus the film of it running. And I also have a 3D printer, which I'm doing another very special build with. Uh -huh. So I'm going to be making this very exciting superhero skateboard out of 3D printing and I'm going to be building it at this show and TCT show which is coming up next week. So all the parts are printed on the Lolsbot Moore Struder so this part is going to be about five or six hours and I should get one part done each day of each show and the plan is it all slots on to 2020 extrusion to make up the board. Now I've already printed some of the parts, like the Ninja Flex tyre, because that was about a 20 hour print in 80% infill, also the back wheel with its bearings, uh, the motor mount, and the back and the front here, so at least I've got something I can assemble. Obviously the rest of the parts we need uh, several days to get them complete, so I've got something to show people. It's also got four front wheels on this special double truck adapter. This is a giant 3D print of my hand, which is coming up for a very special project later this year. Right, so that's my back wheel. I need to glue the pulley on there, but that's mounted on bearings both sides. So it should run pretty freely and I've screwed the two halves together. We could glue those as well, but I think it'll be okay. This part is two hours 51 in, so about seven hours. So we're gonna get basically one part done a day. Right, it's finished. There we go. And it finished in 6 hours 13. So tomorrow we'll be doing another piece. Yes, it fits on the extrusion extremely well, so that's good. we've got another piece of the skateboard on the bed which is probably a seven hour print so hopefully that'll be done by the end of the day right so we're going to try and assemble the back wheel assembly so i'm going to try and drill these holes out check my bolts fit and we should be able to put the back wheel on Right, so the plan was going to be to shove a T-nut down in here until I can see it through the hole somewhere there and then these hold the back axle and I was just going to put the bolts straight in but unfortunately I haven't brought enough bolts that are long enough to go through all of those so for now we'll just have to pretend. Alright in the meantime I need to try and get this tyre on here and you'll notice there's a recess in here it's only about 3mm and a 3mm lump on my wheel so that will push on that far, but the Ninja Flex is pretty tough and not that stretchy, so somehow I need to push that down. Oh, that's done it. 
Right, so we've got these little spacers and we've got a thing that goes like that and this time I've got metal collars which screw up to hold the ends on rather than 3D printed plastic ones and those should align with the little recesses so everything fits flush. It's lunchtime on Sunday and it's pretty busy, it's been busy all day. It's kind of pleasantly busy which is really good. Right, we are 4 hours 15 into the print and 58% of the way through. Right, so my motor's going to sit on another module behind and drive that belt there. So I should drive my back wheel around and this is upside down at the moment. Well hopefully we can at least mount the uh, front wheels on here and get some stuff on the extrusion. So this is a reverse kingpin bearing which means it mounts the other way around to a normal skateboard bearing. Yes, I'm using lock nuts, but no, I don't have a spanner with me. Right, so my front truck and front section is attached. I've got T-nuts in the slot in the bottom and screws here. So now we can put some of the other pieces, mainly starting at the back where I've been printing. someone else doing a live build and this is going to be the golden gauntlet from Legends of Zelda so this is a uh, warbler with fabric on yeah, right? it's meshed warbler meshed warbler okay um, we just figured out which side is the shiny sticky side okay which is that one so we're gonna heat right. it up and we're gonna pop it on there and then we're gonna pick out the details as well so is this a foam liner this is a foam liner this is details. just kids craft foam it just comes in an A4 sheet like this, it's really cheap. It's a nice base for this to bulk it out. Okay, um, and that detail will show through. Yes, it will, but you obviously have to heat it, and I'm gonna push it through with this a bit. And okay. probably because I bodge everything a pen, because right. there's a metal tip on it. So you just push the details in? Yeah, so. Okay, go for it. Go, go, go. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> it smells like water. <laughs> Oh, it's got its own glue built into it, which just like glue gun glue, it's heat activated. Uh, okay. um, so the whole thing is basically glue. That sticks to foam really well. It does, it okay. really does. And if it's not sticking, it's because it's usually got cold. I just get a pen and I roll it and you get like a really neat finish with it. And that's the trick with warbler, you just need to keep working it sometimes. If it's looking a bit rubbish and a bit lumpy, you just got to keep working it. I'm not sure how it's going to behave because I've not used this kind of warbler before, okay. but we'll see. So this has got like literally fabric stuck on one side? Yeah, I think it's like a meshed fabric. It's a new one that warbler's okay. got out. Yeah, see how stretchy it is. Yeah, I'm dipping my finger in water here because obviously I'll burn myself otherwise. Okay. I'm not sure where the details are and my finger's easier at finding it than the pen. This is just a painting spatula. You can start to see it's really picking it out now. So we'll give it another heat and... Right, it's several hours later and we've got three and a half pieces with distractions. With distractions and judging and stuff, but yeah, that just needs its wobbler. There we go. And that's it. So this is warbler entirely? This is not entirely warbler, but the, the outer surface is warbler. It's EVA foam underneath. Oh yes. And on the back we've got marine ply to make it super strong into some fabric. And this right. Is warbler. Um, yeah, it's, it's really hard and painted in acrylic and varnished. And that's it. I'm getting the letter. The letter. So. 
All right, it's finished, so let's fit that on the board. Okay, so it's half past four on Sunday. It's nearly the end of the show. It's winding down, really. And let's have a look at that board. So we've got some sections on, still quite a few to go, but we do have TCT show coming up, which will be the next video in my channel where I'll be completing and riding the board. So at the time of recording, I'm assuming that video is going to come out on Friday this week. So don't forget to check that video out to see the superhero skateboard completed. Hi. Where's He Man? Where's He Man? Yeah. I don't know. Am I He Man? The power of Grey Skull! Not working. <laughs> I think he's kicking himself. <laughs>